Hey everyone, this is Ari from learnwithari.com and today I'm gonna show you one of my favorite tools. It's called Lucidchart and I use it to map out processes, systems, workflows, projects, ideas, basically everything um, for work. And you can use this uh, whether you're in real estate, online, for your day job, whatever it may be, it's very helpful to see a visual representation of something. And I will build out, let's just call them workflow. I use uh, workflow or flowchart interchangeably. Um, I will usually make one of these before I start a project, whether it's um, you know a team hierarchy or a process. So today I'm gonna show you how I would map out a lead process. And then depending on how timing goes, um, I may show you how I onboard customers. And this is something that like I needed to do an update. So let's jump into it. So I keep my uh, caps lock on just to keep everything clean. And then I grab this little text over here and we're just gonna call it template uh, call it lead flow and then marketing. So I have a couple businesses and projects and types of things that I do. And so I like to be you know, super specific um, when I'm labeling things. So. That way I don't have to open up the file to know what it is. And then um, you can add some shapes over here. Okay, so under flowchart shapes, I'm looking for containers. That's what I needed. We're going to use selected shapes. And then I'm going to grab this first container here. And I'm just going to name it right, lead qualification. So everything that... Um, basically involved with qualifying the lead is going to go in here. It's going to extend this box. Okay, so then I grab uh, a process box and then I'll grab another text. I'm going to rename this start here. So then I label it lead because that's the person or the thing that's triggering the event. And um, Basically, they're gonna. We'll keep it simple. They're gonna. They're gonna complete my uh, lead qualification form. That's not what I'll call it, but um, you know that's basically what it is. And then I also mark things um, green for when they're starting, just so it's easy to see. Um, okay, so they've completed um, my form, and then I need to make a decision or you can have your assistant on if they're qualified or not, right? I want this work. I can't type. So if they are call qualified, so we'll say this is an email, email template, and we'll, we'll um, schedule, you can do a schedule like a discovery call. This was my old process, so whatever. If they're not qualified, we'll send them another email template, which would basically give them some resources or refer them to somebody else. Right? And actually, this is a Terminator, so I'm gonna actually choose this Terminator one, which means like there's no steps left. It's the end of the road for that one. Okay, so. Um, I can also kick this off via convert kit. So we can just say, right, cause I want to automate it. And then I want to see if, um, if they booked the call, right? They booked a call using Zapier. I'm going to have apply booked a discovery call tag in ConvertKit, that's what CK is. And then Calendly will send a confirmation email, right? And then um, also um, Calendly will add to my calendar, right? We can extend this a little bit more and just keep it there. What happens next? Um, Calendly will schedule reminder emails and homework. Okay, and then we're going to say, did they show up to the call? 
So we'll have a yes box. And um, do they want to work together? If they didn't show up to the call, we're going to tag them in ConvertKit. Right? And then um, we'll have some other sets kick off there. If we're working together, then um, using Dipsado, we're going to um, I'm going to send a proposal. And then Dubsado like will manage the automations here, right? So I don't really have to do anything, just set it up the first time. And there's like a lot of steps to consider, right? And we're going to make a decision diamond. So did they sign proposal? Yes. OK, then we're going to send an invoice. And Dubsado will process like the payment for that invoice. I actually I think this is going to delete itself. Um, this is actually a bigger <laughs> lead process. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete this right here. Oh, it didn't delete everything. Perfect. And, like I don't consider someone my client and told um, they've signed a proposal, paid an invoice, and then signed um, a statement of work and a master services um, agreement. Okay, so then, you know, did they pay the invoice? And so a master services agreement is basically like our main contract. And then the statement of work clearly specifies what we're going to work on, what we like agree to. And then if there's ever scope creep or like they, the client wants to add something on or do another project, I'll just send them a new statement of work. The master services agreement is like the general coverall, and then the statement of work are for any like updates. Um, and I learned basically this whole process right here is from um, doubleyourfreelancing.com. And so I can, you know, send you guys a link um, for that so you guys can check that course out. Honestly, it's one, all of Brennan's stuff is amazing. I think I have almost every course of his. I've learned so much, it's helped me make a lot of money. And I can't recommend his stuff enough. Like, it's really great. Okay, so if we're working together or not, we're just going to send, um, I guess we can just do convert kit, right? We're going to apply tag, not a fit. And then it'll kick off an email, you know. Which there I would say something like, hey, you know. It's great talking to you, and although we've decided it's not a fit, you know, please keep us in mind for other projects or you know something like that. And I'd probably refer them out to somebody there as well. Okay, so then if they haven't um, signed the proposal, then Dubsado will um, Dubsado. I don't know how it's pronounced, but Dubsado will send reminder emails. And then same with the invoice as well. All right, and then I give people like seven days, pretty much. Where is the delay one? Here we go, delay. So I just set a delay. All right. So, I'm going to say, have they signed the proposal? If yes, right, we're going to send an invoice. If no, we're going to terminate the project because I don't have time to deal with that. <laughs> so, actually, the two step process there. So we're going to apply. And we're just going to send an email saying like, hey, you know, haven't heard back from you. So at this point, we're considering the project terminated. And then I probably wouldn't want to work with them again. 
just because like it's a waste of time and so you know when people are ready to work with you they'll be ready to work with you but i want to work with people who are like excited and ready to get going and not pushing things off and then so i'm gonna apply a tag and basically i'm just hovering over and then just grabbing the line Okay, so here, if they didn't show up for the call, I'm going to send them an email. And then I'm going to tag them. <laughs> Do not work with them. I don't really care why they didn't show up most of the time. It's usually not a very like good reason or excuse. I hate having my time wasted. It's one of my pet peeves. And it's also why I just stopped doing discovery calls once I was more established. Like, so, you know, there's that. Okay, I'm just going to zoom back in. Great. That's how all that works. Okay, so here, same thing with this. So we're going to wait seven days. And then we're going to say, was the invoice paid? If it was paid, yes, then we're going to send them, right? So as soon as it's paid within this seven day period, we're going to send them this. And then if it's not, same thing, you're just going to go here and we're not going to bother with you. After everything is signed, we're going to send them a welcome email. Right. We're going to tag them. So that just means we're actively working on a project together and then I'm going to tag them one more time with or actually it's apply tag clients all oh, cool um and so I'll oh, Shit, there's one more thing that shouldn't be a do not work with. That shouldn't be a terminator because there's something else that I want to do. I'm updating this process as I'm talking to you guys about it. So the last thing I want to do is in convert kit, I want to remove that all clients tag because I don't want to email them. So remove tag and then I think it's clients all. Cool. Okay, so that's the end of that. They only get a, an active client tag once, you know, they signed and paid for everything. Okay, so we send a, um, a project welcome email, which um, includes like a form. And so we'll... Um, so the, and then I also do a kickoff call with them but I feel like they're not gonna get, um, the email says that they'll like, that they need to fill out this form and then schedule a call. So that's the first thing. Did they complete their intake form? And like these forms, the intake form makes our calls so much more productive. So like we can talk strategy and brainstorming instead of like basic things that need to be collected. And it needs to be completed 72 hours before our call, right? So like they, they can complete this and then it, I have the calendar set up where they can't book anything until like past four or five days. Okay, so if they completed it, then they will um, convert kit. Well, also there's the website. So when or so, um, schedule kickoff call right and then I'm going to send them an email also in ConvertKit cool. 
Cool, and then we're going to do another delay, right? And then we're gonna see, like, did they schedule? There should actually be another delay in here. Oh. I'm gonna move this all over. And then I'm gonna add it right here. And like, I feel like seven days is fair because that at least gives you the weekend, um, you know, to get it together <laughs> and turn your stuff in. So I don't know. Maybe I mean, <laughs> I just don't like wasting time. Okay. So they'll hit that page to schedule a call and then they'll get an email. We'll wait seven days and then we're going to see like, did they schedule the call? So kickoff call scheduled. Yes, then we're going to do convert kit, apply tag, client, active, scheduled, kickoff call. Um, and then we'll have the kickoff call. If no, I don't know what I want to happen here. I think I'll just schedule, like send a series of reminder emails. So send to schedule kickoff call sequence. You know, I feel like that's fair. Give them a little bit more leeway since they've paid their project deposit. Um, and then we'll have the call. So we'll say showed up to kickoff call. Yes. Then we'll begin. So start. No project building process. If no, then um, you know, basically we'll send them a sequence there. So this is basically like the lead to client process. I'm gonna hit Command A. I think it might be Control A on a PC. I like to use this font SF Archival, Archival, um, to just make the fonts the same. I like how that looks and then um, I'm just going to pull this out and increase the font size so that it's a little bit bigger. Yeah, there we go. And then it should help me center that. Beautiful. And so, yeah, that's basically, um, you know, the process from someone becoming a lead to on kind of starting the onboarding process and scheduling, you know, our kickoff.